business in 1994 were on the air from Progressive Field in Seatown, Cleveland, Ohio. Tonight, it's the home opener for this new season between the Minnesota Twins and the Cleveland yeah. Indians. Yeah. Indians baseball. Now, that gets down, he's got himself a base hit. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Not accepted. The center field number 25. So that will bring in Byron Buxton. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And the throw will come to first, so the sacrifice works as planned. The next twin up, Randy Rosarena. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. From the stretch, here's the pitch. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. Here's a little chopper up the middle. He's got to hurry. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. So the bases are empty with two gone now. And that'll bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. And it's fouled away. The 0-1 on its way. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Rosario is there. And that's the third out. And now in the box, Cesar Hernandez. He'll lead things off Leading here up. in the bottom Gordon half of the first. The second base Breaking ball below Six the zone. Off. That's ball one. Hernandez. And this is lined hard to deep left. Hamilton is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Next to stand in is Jose Ramirez as he'll dig into the left-handed okay. batter's box. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. And there's ball one. One out, nobody on. Down and in as he's forced to back out of the way that time. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Good job to work the count, put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one out walk here in the no home first. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it. Strike one. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Oh, and he misses it. One there. Runner at first with two gone. And here's Franmo Reyes That's stepping in. Right a look, now the pitch. A ball of no strikes. One and one. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. He's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone. It's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations. He's got to figure it out pretty quick. That is good. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Fouled off. After the walk and with runners on the bags, he couldn't afford to fall behind here. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. Fouled away. Here's a fly ball well hit. Racing back the center fielder. A leap at the wall, but forget it. It's gone. A home run. Now that brings up that Josh Naylor. The right field. As it's on the ground toward the hole. And that finds its way through for a base hit. He has success with two out, and the bottom of the first stays moving. That is seven. Andres Jimenez the next to bat. Oh, and he puts it on the ground to second. He'll whip this one to first in time. And that. Second inning set to go. And digging in is the veteran D.H. Nelson Cruz. Hey, Matty, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning. Give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. 
Late swing there on the changeup. Couldn't make up his mind, I guess. It's strike two. 0-2 oh, is a fastball that misses inside. One and two now. Ground ball left side. Defense set up perfectly. On to first, and there's one gone here to start the second. Next, it'll be Matt Carpenter. First pitch on its way. Ground ball right into the shift. Fielded cleanly. Throw gets him. Two down. So two out, nobody on. And next to hit will be Luis Arias. Luis Arias. Chopped toward the second baseman. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. And that'll bring in the San Diego product, Bradley Zimmer. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. Zimmer. The wind up and the 0 1. Zimmer is a guy that has a lot of speed, no doubt about that. And while that's certainly a weapon for him offensively, it could be argued that it benefits him just as much on the defensive side of the ball given the position he plays. Batting nuts. And not only just speed, but first step Robert quickness Moore. speed. He's able to track Barrett. balls down that other guys cannot get to. And sometimes that's half the equation. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty, one man out. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 2. A 1 and 2 count to the Indians catcher. And it's fouled away. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. So the Indians line up, flips back. over, Second and to the plate, Cesar Hernandez. 0 for 1 Her here in the early game. going. Fouled off. 0 and 1, here it comes. Two out, nobody on. Two balls and a strike to Cesar Hernandez. Hit on the ground out to short. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. Now batting. Third baseman. At the plate now, Jose Ramirez. Snap throw from the catcher. He drew a base on balls his first time up. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulled. New inning set to get underway. And next to hit is the catcher, Mitch Garver. The catcher, number eight. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Waiting on it is Zimmer. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So one away now in the Minnesota third and in to hit next the speedy presence of Billy Hamilton. Bun attempt is popped into foul ground. Third inning here three to one our score. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. Throw to first is going to beat him though as they're able to thwart the bun attempt. So next to hit is the Max Kepler. He doubled Max his last time up. Kepler. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Oh, Interested to see if he has the same approach this A.B. No balls in one strike. Squared that one up just a little late. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. So stepping in is Eddie Rosario, reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. Ground ball sent back up the middle, scooped up. Throw to first is in time for the first out. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Fran Moreyes. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at-bat. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. 
Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk coming right after him here. Hit hard towards center and that finds some outfield grass it's a base hit. Into the, the box, baseman. Bobby Bradley. Bobby. A swing, and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to stop it. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. And now, Josh Naylor. Now back. As the right first pitch here has been high, it's ball one. One for one with a single so far. Hit softly down the line at first. Good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Two down, no one on base. And that'll bring Andres Jimenez into bat. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. Here's a swing and a high pop up. Barrios over to his left. And he makes the play to end the inning. So now here is Byron Buxton. He dropped a sacrifice bunt in his last plate appearance. And not easy to do in today's game. High velocity, exploding breaking stuff. He executed that sack bunt perfectly. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Swing and oh my. Hit him with the high. Gone to lead off the inning. Here's Randy Arozarena. Right fielder. Randy. And that misses ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. Naylor moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. So here's the cleanup now hitter, Jorge Polanco. One run in and one gun so far in this inning. And he fouls this one off. Two runs on two hits and no errors in the ball game for Minnesota. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Polanco is certainly a versatile middle infielder playing shortstop today despite being a second baseman naturally. Yeah, Matty, this guy has been dubbed the second baseman, but I'll tell you what, everybody on this diamond either pitched or played shortstop in Little League. I guarantee you through the ranks he has touched shortstop multiple times and this will not be too much for him to handle. And it's fouled away. Four foul balls in this A.B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. Neither guy giving in here and they'll do it again. Hey have an A.B. right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Fouled off. Hit hard to third. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. Now batting. The designated hitter. And that'll Nelson. bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. Cruz as he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Fouled away. Polanco stands at first with one out. And he fouls this one off. And a wild pitch here as this one's to the backstop. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Ran it in on him as this is bounced towards short. He's right there, and that's the second out. 
So two gone now for the Twins in their half of the fourth. And that'll bring up the sweet swinging Matt Carpenter. First pitch of the A.B. now. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Two outs here with a runner at third. Off speed pitch just missed inside. Tough spot to hit here as a hitter. You have a base open, so you have to almost be trying to think like the pitcher. Is he going to try to pitch around me, or is he going to come in the strike zone? Jimenez settles under it near second. He handles it easily, and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Bradley Zimmer. The center fielder. And that's cut Bradley. on and missed 0 and 1. Great execution Zimmer. of that changeup right there. Great arm action. Batter was totally out front on that one. High in the air into shallow left center. Hamilton comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Stepping in next, Roberto Perez hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did. And all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Standing in now, Cesar Hernandez. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Now batting, third base. At the plate, Jose Ramirez. Ramirez. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. I love a well executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation. You leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair and you could have some problems. Here's another one two and another foul ball. Fourth inning here already a five to two score. Another one sent foul. Hoping to send him packing pitch on its way. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Again, a 1 2. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him, so we'll see what pitch he comes with next. The 2 2 is looked at, and the count moves full. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And there's out number two. Now to the play, Eddie Rosario. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. And now we'll step off the rubber here and just look him back to third. From the belt, the pitch dribbled to the right side. Perez on third. Hernandez at second with two gone. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Change up, and he ain't buying it. One and two. Hard hit towards center. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next to hit will be Luis Arise. The second baseman. Luis Arise. In the right field, that's a base hit. The catcher, number eight, Mitch Garver. Stepping in now, Mitch Garver, as he tries to go out and get the slider, but it's not there. It's strike one. 
comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. High in the air out to center field. Waiting on it is Zimmer. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first and in to hit next the speedy presence of Billy Hamilton as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and oh. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Zimmer calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Max Kepler the next to Up grab next a bat. One for two with the a double baseman. on the ledger so Max. far. Kepler. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Popped him up. Perez is under it. He handles it easily and the inning is over. Set now for the bottom of the fifth and digging in now Fran Reyes. The designated hitter. Out in front of it strike one. Buxton is there and he'll bring this one in. Now to the plate here is Bobby Bradley. Two home runs in two at bats so far and looking to add to that here. And it's fouled away. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. A ball and two strikes now. Here comes the one-two. Is looked at for ball number two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. Reined in. In time to first, and there are two away. Base is empty, two away, and the next to bat will be Josh Naylor. First pitch of the AB now. We're in the fifth inning here. 5-2 is our score. Hit back up the middle. He's got it. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the speedy Keeping outfielder the Byron Buxton. The center field, and he'll start the oh, inning with Byron. a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. A ball and a strike. Ball, strike. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's his wind up. I don't know if it's just flat stuff. He's getting a lot of swings outside the zone and he's having a big game. Swing and a miss as he ran now the fastball right, right by him for the first down. Randy Orozarena. Randy Orozarena comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Rock solid performance up to this part of the ball game right now. One of the keys, 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you do that, you really make the hitter swing at the pitch you want them to swing at. And quickly two are gone now here in the visitors half of the sixth. Next to hit is Jorge Polanco. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Swing and a miss and he's behind 0 and 1. Offensive game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. It's too late to try and work counts. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Zimmer retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Bottom of the sixth inning now and that'll bring. Is Jimenez in the bat. The shortstop. First Andres. offering. Jimenez. Out in front as he rolls over it to second. Right to him. 
throw on to first in time one away. Striding in for the Indians Bradley Zimmer and speeds the name of the game with him despite being a bronze tier player he can be an absolute terror on the base paths. Oh one here's the pitch. Behind Owen two now. Five two is our score here in inning number six. Hit back toward the mound. And into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. The catcher, number 55. At the plate now, Roberto Perez. And a first big swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. Hamilton comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. And he scurries back to first base safely. Now back to the top of the lineup. The Stepping base. in, Cesar Take Hernandez. Off. It was a base Third hit last game. time up. As he'll come up empty there as he misses the off-speed pitch for strike one. Pitch in the dirt, and that scoots right on by. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Two and one. You know what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. Grounded back up the middle. Scooped up and the throw just does beat him at the back. Here's Nelson Cruz now and he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. Nelson. First pitch Ooh. on its way. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. Hey that's the modern game right now north south elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt completely different from the east west we came up playing. Here's the Owen two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Here's Matt Carpenter over two from him so far in this one. Matt Carpenter. Oh forget about this one. Bob Bob Bowie. And that ball will stay fair and it's gone a home run. The battle the second baseman Luis Arias. That'll bring up Luis Arias. As he'll ground the first pitch foul off to the right side. He's working on a one for two game so far. This is on the ground over the first. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. Up next for Minnesota, the catcher, Mitch Trevor Larnick, who come on a pinch hit here in a big spot. For Minnesota, number 24. Ready to deal. Trevor here comes the first pitch. Larnick. As the fastball is swung on and missed, good location down at the knees for strike one. That's lifted the other way out to left. Rosario is there, and he makes the catch for the second out. Next to dig in, Billy Hamilton. Next to oh, for game. two for him to this the point. Left Billy Hamilton. First pitch on its way. Bunt attempt with two outs. Over to first, and that retires the side. Of the inning now, and stepping in the Leading long off. ball the threat, Indians. Jose Ramirez. The third baseman. And he can't okay. get out of the way there, so the leadoff oh, man will be right. aboard to open up the inning. So the next to bat will be Eddie no Rosario. He could really use a knock Eddie. here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. Pulled toward right center field. Buxton is there, and he has it for the first out. One out now for the Indians in their seventh. Now and that. here's Prendel Reyes stepping in. Not me. Now a bluff here as he steps off to looking back at first. He 
set and the pitch. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Into center field, line drive base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Now that first base. Bobby. Your attention, please. Now so they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left hander here to face the upcoming left handed batter. Into the box now, Bobby Bradley. Hold hard, but it's foul down the first base side. Here's the 0 1. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Two and one to the Indians' first baseman. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Three and one. Fouled off. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Hit out towards second. And he has delivered on three and two as he comes up big. It's a base hit. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Now a 6 3 game. Now that's the right field. To the plate now, Josh Naylor. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. This is on the ground over the first. And that is into right field, a base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third, so they're loaded now with only one away. Ahmed Rosario will get the nod from his skipper to pinch hit, and he'll do so in a big spot. Base is loaded, only one away. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. And with every base occupied, a big hit here could really put this one out of reach. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Nowhere to put anybody. 2 0 count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Fielded cleanly to second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Ready to begin the eighth and set to go is the veteran Leading first baseman, win. Max Kepler. The first baseman, Max Hot Kepler. shot to third and handled for the first out. Digging in will be Byron Buxton. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Trying to lay one down here, but he misses strike one. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location. Right? It was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big now part of this one here. Mike Fielder, Randy Arozarena. Randy Arozarena is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Hit on the ground out to short. Rosario brings it in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Bradley Zimmer. Oh, he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him. Yeah. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Bradley Zimmer sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. And now the first pitch. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. And there's out number two. Now to bat, Cesar Hernandez. He grounded out last time up. 
Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. That pitch was so slow it barely registered on the radar gun. Yeah, Matt. We don't see too many pitches crawling to the plate like that, especially these days. That can be a really tough pitch for a hitter to wait back on. Out in front of that one may have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. The next 0-2. And he chased it in the dirt. Up with it, Rortvet. And that ends the inning. All set to start the ninth in this one. And that'll bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. This is in high in the air out toward left center. Rosario is there one quick out to start inning number nine. Now it'll be the Minnesota D.H. Nelson Cruz no hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Fouled away. Bases are empty one man out. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. The third base is number 15. That's In the air to right center and carrying well. Way back there now. And gone. Home run. In now, Luis Arias. The batter number two. Second base. And he fouls this one off. Orion. He's two for three and looking for more here. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Reined in. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. Well, I got to be honest. I didn't think he had nine innings in him. But he battled, and he finished the game, and he picked up the win along the way, too. A 6-4 to four finish in tonight's affair. The Tribe jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Shane Bieber gets the W on the mound. Jose Barrios struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that will wrap things up. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew, I'm Matt Vasgersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Cleveland Indians. Six runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. For the Twins, four runs, seven hits, no errors.